In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make sorrel liqueur with organically grown sorrel from my garden. Stay tuned. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. It is approaching Christmas time once more. And as an organic sorrel farmer, I do take orders to make sorrel liqueur. Sorrel liqueur is a very strong, sweet alcohol beverage that is usually served on crushed ice. We start the process by harvesting fresh, black, organically grown sorrel. Sandeep is learning the art of harvesting sorrel. Sandeep practiced planting sorrel this year and he is harvesting sorrel from trees that he grew himself. Step one will be to grow the sorrel. Step two is harvesting the sorrel. And step three would be to prepare the sorrel. There are different methods for preparing the sorrel. Here, we can see one method being displayed. With this method, a ring is cut around the base of the sorrel. The sorrel sepals is simply pulled off the seed. Another simple method that can be used is to simply break the sepals of the sorrel off the seed. After the sorrel is harvested and prepared, it is time to make sorrel liqueur. Next, I will show you the ingredients and equipment you need to make sorrel liqueur. The first ingredient is freshly picked and prepared black sorrel. The fresher, the better. That way all the minerals, vitamins, and flavor gets locked in to the liqueur. These sorrel sepals was picked just one hour ago. The next ingredient is one pound of sugar. You can choose between white or brown sugar. Next, we have dried cinnamon bark and fresh peppermint. The most important ingredient of all is rum. White rum is best for making liqueur. For this recipe, I will be using punch and rum, which has an alcohol content of 75%. You can use any white rum of your preference, even vodka. For the equipment, you will need a bottle, preferably one with a large mouth that can hold all the ingredients comfortably, a funnel, and a wooden spoon, which you can use the handle to clear any clogs in the funnel. Now that we have all the ingredients and equipment laid out, let's get started making some liqueur. We will start the process by opening the bottle and filling it with the sorrel sepals that we have prepared earlier. I prefer the black sorrel over the red sorrel as it has a lot more flavor and puts a lot more color into the liqueur. I am using a half pound of black prepared sorrel. If you do not have black sorrel and choose to use red sorrel, I do recommend you use one pound of prepared red sorrel. After putting all the sorrel into the bottle, give it a little shake so the sorrel can settle and then we can move on to the next step. Here, I have a single cinnamon stick that I have broken into two pieces. I will place the cinnamon sticks into the bottle with the sorrel, and then I will place this fresh picked mint branch. For 
for the next step, I will need to place the funnel onto the bottle. At this point, we will add the sugar to the ingredients in the bottle. I am using one pound of white sugar. You can use brown sugar if you wish. Carefully add the sugar while trying to avoid any spillage. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. The next step has the most important ingredient, the white rum. I prefer using white rum as it does not have any flavor and you get the best taste when you use white rum. My personal choice for making liqueurs is punch and rum. It has 75% alcohol. You can use almost any non-flavored white rum that you have available. You can even use vodka. I do not dilute the rum that I make my liqueurs with. As it is served on crushed ice, the ice will dilute the drink. Slowly pour the rum over the ingredients. This starts the dilution of the sugar that was placed on top of the ingredients. Once you have poured all the rum into the ingredients, secure the bottle, place the cap on it and put it aside. You can use this bottle to refill the liqueur when it is completed. The liqueur takes approximately three weeks to complete. You can now place the cap on the bottle as all the ingredients has been added and placing the cap will keep the alcohol from evaporating. Give the contents of the bottle a little shake. This will help start the process. You want the sugar to be diluted into the alcohol and you also want the flavor of the sorrel to be absorbed into the alcohol. You will need to give the liqueur approximately three weeks to fully absorb all of the flavors. Giving it a shake approximately two minutes every day. This is what the liqueur will look like after all the ingredients has been added and it's been given its first shake. I will now set this liqueur aside for a period of about three weeks, giving it a two minute shake every day. One week later. After one week, we can see the liquid has turned a bright red and the sugar has diluted down a bit as there is less sugar crystals at the bottom of the container. Two weeks later. After two weeks, we can see the liquid has absorbed much of the sorrel. It is a very dark red, almost black in color. The sugar is almost gone. There is very little sugar crystals remaining at the bottom. We will give it one more week. Three weeks later. After the third week, the sugar crystals are all gone. The sorrel sepals have turned pink and the liquid is a lovely dark red, almost black. This is going to be delicious. It's time to bottle our liqueur. I am going to pour out a sample so I could have a taste. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. Have you ever tried sorrel liqueur? 
Do you think you would like to try it? Would you try making sorry liqueur? Leave a comment. Let me know. I would really like to hear what you have to say. Happy holidays to all my viewers, fans, and subscribers. Sorry, liqueur, three weeks cured. Cheers. Wow. Delicious. Let's have us some more sorrel to start filling those orders for liqueur. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Happy holidays to all of my fans and subscribers. Sorry, Likior. Sharik's cured. Cheers. <laughs>